Have you ever made a 3D printed part that needs to have a car dropped on it a few hundred thousand times? These guys did. Let's go ahead and talk about Perry Parts. Perry Parts may actually be one of the best 3D printed products we've ever seen because they are able to leverage all the factors of 3D printing. They're able to make a really good quality product because they're able to design geometry that wasn't possible before. They're able to address niches and they're able to iterate really quickly to evolve that product over time. And we're gonna look at all of those inside of this video. But before that, let's go ahead and just talk about where Perry Parts got started. So Perry Parts was started in 2020 by Patrick Perry, who was working on a GX470. He had to go on an off-roading trip and he lost the bump stop in his vehicle. He ended up 3D printing one out of TPU that held up better than he had expected, so he decided to keep on iterating on it. Over the next year or so, he released to the broader community with a bunch of continuous feedback. He kept on improving it. And then by 2022, he had kind of final products and was starting to refine the final production process in order to produce more and more bump stops, eventually creating hundreds of designs and producing thousands of orders. But let's roll back even further. What the heck is a bump stop? Well, if you are an off-roader, you are driving your vehicle through very harsh terrain where the suspension is pushed right to its limit. When the suspension is fully compressed, it hits the end. The spring is fully compressed and now you're just basically metal against metal. The bump stop is the last little bit of range. It is a small rubber cap, effectively, that is able to be squashed just a little bit more to make sure that you don't have metal on metal so you're not beating up your vehicle. You actually have a small kind of final spring and stop so that everything can come to a stop before the whole vehicle bumps around. It really smooths up the ride and makes sure that you reduce the damage on your vehicle. Normal cars have this too, so that the suspension doesn't just shoot through the hood of your car, but those solutions are either a solid rubber cap or a really expensive option, which is a hydraulic ram that compresses just a little bit, which can cost hundreds of dollars. Perry Parts has managed to create a solution that is better than all of those while also still being more affordable. So let's go ahead and look at the Perry Parts bump stops. There is an incredible amount of engineering in the actual design of it, which we'll get to here in just a moment. But first of all, I wanna talk about the actual material itself. They're using thermoplastic polyurethane, which is effectively a rubber, but it's a really durable type of rubber. TPU is one of the best materials in the world for 3D printing because it's very UV resistant, very chemically resistant, and it's able to take a ton of abuse. So it's a good baseline material. But Perry Parts took this even further. They don't actually print with TPU filament as many 3D printing people would expect them to. This is actually quite odd, but also not. Every time plastic is melted and then turned solid again, it loses some of its molecular adherence effectively. The polymer chains inside of it get broken shorter and shorter every time you heat it and cool it, which means it gets weaker and it can become embrittled and just softer and gets weirder. You see this in PLA to where you have very low temperature melting PLAs because it's been processed so many times. But Perry Parts wanted to avoid this degradation of having stuff extruded over and over again. And in order to do that, they had to extrude it just once, which means that you have to put injection molding pellets into the machine. That wasn't really available at the time when they were working on it, so they went ahead and built their own custom fused pellet fabrication machines so that they could feed in injection molding TPU, extrude it just once so you maintain as much of the strength and the natural characteristics of the material as you can and turn it directly into the part. This is both really, really efficient because they have low material cost, but it's just better because it improves the engineering quality of the material of the part and that contributes to the durability and the affordability of the design. But now, let's actually go into the engineering of this. Perry Parts takes full advantage of 3D printing. You know how we talked about how all other cars generally have like a solid rubber cap inside of there that doesn't really compress at all any more than rubber compresses? Perry Parts is able to completely move beyond that and actually dynamically change how the part behaves. Instead of having a solid brick of rubber, they are able to change it so this kind of has an internal spring. They're able to use infill, custom designed, engineered, CAD designed infill, but infill nonetheless. So that as the stops are compressed, the infill progressively gets harder and harder and harder and twists and bends and compresses so that the part is not just squashing material, it's squashing a mechanical mechanism that controls the material, where it goes, how it spreads, how it breaks. So you get a lot more durability and you get a ride feel and bump stop behavior that is way more gentle on the material and leads to a better ride. 
This is actually really incredibly brilliant because if you look at the Perry Parts bump stops, they couldn't actually be molded because they have internal geometry that cannot possibly be molded because you can't reach inside of a part with a mold. But they also have external geometry, the ripples on the inside of the bump stops that is also stupidly difficult to mold if not outright impossible. But these features make the bump stops so much better and leverage the process that they're being made with so that you can get characteristics that would not exist any other way. You have full control of the engineering. And that full control is stupidly important because Perry Parts has gone through many, many iterations of all of their bump stops, and that is only possible with 3D printing. If he had been manufacturing it traditionally, he would have got, had to get tools, dies, all that kind of stuff set up, and it would have been tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars just to build that tooling, and then you get your first parts off, and then you cannot change them again until you hit some critical mass. But Perry Parts is able to create very bespoke and very focused sort of solutions without having to do all of that tooling because they're able to use 3D printing. It's also worth noting the inserts on the Perry Parts bump stops. They use 3D printed threads, which is kind of odd for 3D printed parts, but it makes total sense in the context of the engineering. They use printed threads because bump stops are in compression. Those threads are not being pulled. They're not gonna be stripped out in any sort of way. They're being tightened down against the main bar of the vehicle. So literally, the only thing the threads need to do is retain the part, hold it on there, make sure it doesn't break off, and make sure it doesn't slide from side to side. You do not have to over-engineer when you do not have to over-engineer. This is subtle, but it's also often overlooked. Many people would look at these parts and say, we need to embed a bolt into it. But that embedding of the bolt can radically increase the cost, radically increase the complexity, and not really help it that much. This part needs to be screwed onto a thing and just held there. And then since it's being pressed on, those threads will never actually really be stressed because it's backstopped. It's just a nice little nugget of engineering and design optimization that I really appreciate. Perry Parts is also really unique in the context of 3D printed pieces because their parts are actually heavily qualified. They test their designs by running them through a compression dynamometer where they're able to hit them a hundred thousand times to make sure they're still holding up and the designs will hold up over time. This is a level of qualification that most designers never really go to in many of the designs that they create. But it's an indicator of some of the early capabilities of 3D printing that they can pass these types of tests. And again, they're parts that are in compression, so you don't have to deal with layer adhesion types of issues in the same sort of way. You have to deal with fatigue across the layer lines, but that's a different issue. But the fact that Perry parts are so heavily qualified and quantified is something to really be commended because they're creating engineering quality parts that are proven to be engineering quality parts. There's a lot more that we could say about the Perry Parts engineering and down to the actual pattern that they're using for their infill because it's a very specific sort of pattern designed for compression and spreading out a load in a very specific way. But that kind of goes beyond the scope of this video. So let's actually run into the actual product and business of Perry Parts. Up to this point, Perry Parts has sold about 4,000 orders. And now we don't know how many of those things are inside of each one of the orders, but that is a solid business. And it is made even more solid by a very simple fact that these bump stops are more affordable than other options out there on the market. The alternatives you have are OEM bricks of rubber or kind of custom and expensive hydraulic ram bump stops that are three to four times more expensive than what Perry Parts is making. They have been able to create a mechanism that is printed as a solid part. This is the magic of 3D printing, to create these really compliant sorts of pieces and mechanisms to where you can turn many parts into one single simple part that is more robust and more affordable. And this is one of the superpowers of 3D printing that many people don't realize. Most folks use 3D printing to produce something that already exists, rather than using 3D printing to combine and evolve something that already exists. But there's even more nuggets in the business model that are just stupidly impressive and wildly enabled by the technology. The main one is a core principle of Perry Parts, which is continuous improvement. They are able to test, they are able to change the design, they're able to update the design, and then they're able to test again and do this continuously without having to worry about tooling or fixed manufacturing costs. 
they were able to move and evolve really quickly to create the products that people need. Again, also, since they do not have that tooling, they're able to create large numbers of products. Once they have the core technology, that compressive infill inside of it figured out, they're able to make one for Toyota, one for Lexus, one for Ford, to where the bump stops for that vehicle need to be different from the bump stops on that vehicle. Perry Parts is able to chase the long tail. Oh, you have that old vehicle from the 1990s that there's only 2,000 of them left over in the world. We can make a bump stop for that. This is incredibly powerful, and people don't leverage this enough with 3D printing. The fact that you're able to do more with less. And when you're working in one of these niches, you're able to scale up as the niche grows, and you're able to grow at your own pace. Perry Parts does not have to sell more parts unless they want to create a design for another new vehicle, because they can saturate each one of the vehicles as quickly as they want to. And as the business gets more word of mouth and continues to grow and has YouTube videos made about it, they can grow their existing stock and scale up very easily because 3D printing is far more scalable than many people realize. Ultimately, Perry Parts is an accessories business. And if you have watched this channel for a very long time, you know that accessories businesses are one of the best places for 3D printing because there are so many different things to be made to help improve existing products. Organizers, accessories, caps, cases, all of those types of products are stupidly enabled by 3D printing. And Perry Parts is one of the purest examples of this because they have a deeply engineered product that addresses a real need of people. They're able to do it more affordably and in a less complicated way than other options. This is how 3D printing takes over the world. It does it better in every single way. Have a great day, everybody.